Today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough waffles. They're good for both breakfast, lunch and dinner. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. I'm going to show you how to make sourdough waffles. Waffles themselves can be traced as far back as the ancient Greeks that cooked flat cakes called opias between two hot metal plates. During the Middle Ages, the communion wafer became a thing, and those are the first European known ancestor of the modern waffle. Later in the 14th century, the first known written recipe for waffles came into existence. It was written by a husband to his young wife, and from the sound of it, it was more of what we know today as a waffle. Even later, in the late 17th century, eating unsweetened waffles made using non-wheat grains was a staple for the common folk. Wheat-based waffles, and especially sugar-sweetened waffles, were only for the higher classes and the royals. Up to the early 20th century, waffles were a street food and were widely eaten. But in 1918, General Electric introduced the first electric waffle maker. And in one fell swoop, waffles became a staple at home. These waffles that I'm making today are sourdough discard waffles, but we're still fermenting the discard. So we don't have overly sour waffles, because that doesn't sound good, does it? Instead, we're looking for that fermented, well-developed flavor that you know and love. And um, you should try it if you don't know it, because it really elevates everything. The waffles themselves are not overly sweet, so that you can use them for any meal. After the recipe, I'll give you some ideas how you can use it for lunch and dinner. Stay tuned for that. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. So an interesting thing about these waffles is that all of the flour in the recipe is pre-fermented. This means that all of the flour have been fermented with a starter, which is what gives its uniquely good taste. The pre-ferment is made with all-purpose flour and buttermilk, and yes, you can leave it out all night without it spoiling. The batter is enriched with eggs and butter, and a bit of salt is added to make sure it doesn't turn bland. For the leavening, we're not using the starter, but baking soda. If you wish, they can be made without the baking soda, but they are a bit more dense. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the recipe. There's a link in the description for the written recipe on my website. About 12 hours before making the waffles, mix the pre-ferment. To a medium bowl, add 250 grams or two cups of all-purpose flour, 250 grams or two cups of sourdough discard, Five hundred grams or two cups of buttermilk. Mix everything until all of the flour is hydrated. If you don't have buttermilk, you can mix five hundred grams or two cups of regular or plant-based milk with two tablespoons of white vinegar or lemon juice. Leave it on the counter for about ten minutes, then it's ready to use. Cover and leave at room temperature about twelve hours. It'll rise and might fall again. You can use the pre-ferment when it's peaked or hours afterward. It doesn't usually get sour until 12 hours after peak, and it happens gradually. This will speed up if you live in a warmer place. When you're ready to make the waffles, add the following to the pre-ferment. Two eggs. If you want to make them vegan, just drop the eggs. Fifty grams or three and a half tablespoons of melted butter or plant-based butter. One teaspoon of baking soda. Three quarters teaspoon of salt. Mix it. Then grab your waffle maker or waffle iron and heat it. I have the spiffy waffle maker from Sage slash Breville called the Smart Waffle. You can just dial in the perfect brown waffle. It works every time. I absolutely love it. Then make the waffles. In my waffle maker, it makes 10 waffles, almost down to the drop of batter. Hmm. 
<laughs> wow, look at that gorgeous color. If you're wondering about the settings I'm using, it's on classic waffle and right in the middle between light and dark color. All right, let me show you what you can make with these waffles. First, a classic breakfast waffle. <laughs> oh my God, that is so good. Or how about a dessert waffle with fresh berries and ice cream? <laughs> Yummy. Oh, let me just show you these gorgeous waffles. They just look amazing. These are delicious waffles with a unique and fermented taste. You might have already seen me use the same batter for making pancakes and episkira. This video is about waffles though, and I thought it deserved its own video. So everybody knows waffles for breakfast. Maple syrup is most often involved, maybe some powdered sugar, some bacon, you know the drill. But what about savory waffles for lunch and dinner? Well, here's a couple of ideas. Add some kimchi and cheddar cheese to your batter and fry them up in a waffle iron. Some fire and creaminess that can satisfy anybody. How about a waffle topped with smoked salmon, rich cream cheese and chives? <laughs> Yum. Or uh, about a, how about a cousin of the American chicken and waffles? Ginger and sesame waffles served with Indonesian chicken. Waffle pizza topped with tomato sauce, cheese and your favorite toppings and give it a couple minutes under the broiler. Who says a grilled cheese needs to be with bread? How about a grilled cheese waffle? Sounds amazing, doesn't it? And for the kids, peanut butter and jelly waffle. <laughs> I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.